Good morning. I'm Stephanie and this is Lauren. And this morning we're joining you from our kitchen to talk about one of our favorite produce picks. Yes, this is our day's fresher produce pick artichokes. Absolutely. And I can tell you that I'm very excited about this because I have never personally purchased a fresh artichoke. And I can honestly say the same thing. I've always really wanted to, which is why I'm so excited um, that we're going to dive into one today. Um, most people usually just buy them in the can, or at least that's what I do myself, mm -hmm. um, or in the jars. The marinated artichokes are really awesome too. Yeah. Um, but this is a whole new world, just buying the, the full artichoke in our produce department. So this is the heart of the artichoke, right? And yes. that's what we typically buy in a jar or a can. Is that what we are, this is the full vegetable, is that what we're trying to get out of it? We could be doing that, but today we're going to do something a little bit different. So um, artichokes are unopened flower buds. So all these leaves around here are actually called the petals. And okay. um, once you pull the petals out, the closest part that's to the stem, that's where the flesh is that we're going to actually eat. So we're going to kind of right. dip them into this dip that we have over here today. Excellent. So if I'm at the store, what am I looking for? So you want to look for an artichoke that has compact petals mm -hmm. um, and that is heavy for its size. Um, and you just want to make sure that there's not a whole lot of brown spots and that it's pretty green. Okay. So then once you get it home, if you're not ready to use it, you can put it in your refrigerator um, in a plastic bag for up to about a week. Um, but if you're ready to use it, you just have to slice and we're going to boil it and then grill it today is what we're going to do. All right. So show me how to cut it up. Yes. Yeah, so um, this is the stem. So we're going to trim off the stem here, just like that. And then what we want to do is we want to uh, make it like a flat, a flatter surface. Okay. Um, so we're just going to kind of go in a little bit here and it takes a lot of work. They're pretty rough. So we're just going to saw down a little bit. Just I'm glad she's doing that and not me. <laughs> takes a little muscle, but we got a big knife. So this way we just have a flat surface so that when we do grill it, it's really easy and it's not going to roll all around. That makes a lot of sense. So then from here, what we need to do is we need to peel off all these bottom petals. These ones are always usually pretty dry. Okay. So we just want to get these guys off so that we're ready just to use um, the main ones. So from here, what we would do is we would um, boil it for about 20 to 40 minutes, and then when it's done boiling, it's going to come out looking like this. All right. So from here, we <coughs> sliced it in half, and we pulled out, um, you'll see this indentation here? Yeah. That's where the choke lived before. Oh, that's the, the choke of the artichoke. So yes. that would be like this fuzzy stuff that we're seeing on this one right here? Yes, so we don't want to eat that, um, but everything else we can eat. Right. Um, so from there, what we did is we grilled it. Um, and this is our finished product of grilling over here. So we just grilled it in um, this pan, this mm -hmm. cast iron pan that we have, because we didn't have a grill But outside. you could totally do this on the outside grill with your dinner. Yes, yeah, exactly. Just and put it on with everything else. The boiling took like 40 minutes, but this part was actually quite... Fast, if mm -hmm. you have it up to a high heat. Yes, exactly. So, you know, a little bit of olive oil, like always, and, and just get to grilling. So, um, what you can also do is you can take um, half of a lemon, and you can either just rub it or just squeeze some lemon on to prevent it from browning. So, oh, sure. if you're going to have it out for a little bit and you don't want it to brown, you want it to stay fresh, um, you can just use a little bit of lemon, which is great. They just look so cool. They make perfect appetizers, especially as the weather starts to get nicer. I completely agree. And the great part about it is you can see here on the very bottom, and that's what we have here, this is the heart, the hearts that we talked about before. Oh, yeah. And this is a very fleshy portion. So this is what you would buy in the cans or the jars. Um, but we still have that piece along with another great piece, which we're going to taste today. Excellent. So you said we're going to dip this, but can we talk about the dip? Yes. So This, this looks is, amazing. Looks amazing, but really simple. It's just um, a little six ounce container of plain non-fat Greek yogurt. Okay. And then we just mixed it with a little bit of pesto. Two ingredients. That is awesome. Yes. I love that. All right. So. I am glad that I was prepped for this before today. So I would have taken the petal and I would have eaten the whole thing and definitely don't want to do that. You'd so, be still chewing on yes. it probably. Okay, so <laughs> it doesn't chew and swallow very easily. So when you say we can eat all of this, we're actually trying to eat that the lining. Is that? Exactly. Okay. So um, what we're going to do, we can do it together. We're just grabbing one of the petals. I'm going to dip it a little bit in the sauce. And then from here... We're just going to basically put it in our mouth and slide it across our teeth so we get the, the pulpy portion out. Okay. Mmm. That's delicious. Especially with that sauce. I love pesto. Oh, me too. And the Greek yogurt gives it a nice tangy sauce. So this is, this is it. So this is a really fun um, snack that you can do, you know, with your kids or 
you know, just something a little bit, a little bit different. Not everybody's had an artichoke before. I was going to say, you know, even if you're entertaining with friends, this is just a different way, and you can actually teach them something while they're visiting your house as well. Yes, exactly. Absolutely so lots of fun it. and something a little bit different, which is great. Excellent. Well, I actually might decide to throw one of these on my <laughs> list. I still Yay! love the, the canned and jarred, but me too. It's this a is great, fun. yeah, great new uh, way to use artichokes. So if you'd like information or more information on what we've showed you today here or any other day's fresher produce picks, you can visit our website, bestfoods.com, and click on the produce blog link. Have a great day, everybody.